Hi everyone, welcome to another review of The Sims 4 Jungle Adventure. Uh, last upload I reviewed the stuff in casts we received from this game pack, so if you would like to check that one out, please do. If this is the first episode you've seen on my channel, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Fitzsimmons Plays. it's a pun to my married name. I'm still new to making content and let's plays, but I feel like I'm getting better the more videos that I put up. Um, if you would like to check out any of my other videos, I currently have a Hunger Games challenge going on, so if you're interested, please give those a watch. Uh, just to forewarn you, my voice is a little soft in those videos. Like I said, I'm new, so I'm still getting used to talking into a mic, and my mic is new, so I'm also trying to get used to working with that. And also, my voice is just naturally soft, <laughs> and I just gotta work with it. Um, but, like I said, I feel like I'm getting a little better each episode. Um, so, anywho, this review will be, we will be checking out any build mode stuff and any items we may have gotten from Jungle Adventure. I've already gone ahead and taken a peek to see what we've gotten because, though I like to go into this with a blind eye, I didn't want the review to take too long just in case there was a lot of stuff to show. And there actually is. Um, and I also wanted to build a house at the end of this review for the Explorer, which I am showing right here, um, that we made last episode during the cast review. Um, her name is Asia Jewel, and let me, whoops, go ahead, and I made her an archaeology scholar, so therefore she is a quick learner. She is self-assured, active, and loves the outdoors. And this um, aspiration is something new that the game provided, as well as something else about like being a great jungle explorer or something like that. Um, and I picked Oasis Springs for her to live in because I felt like it was um, a fitting environment for her. Um, and I did realize that in the last video that during the cast review, I, when I was editing it, I accidentally made her an adult and I wanted her to be a young adult. So I went ahead and changed that, but that is all that I changed about her. Everything else is the same. Um, but other than that, I think that's all I need to go over. So let's get started with the review. As you can see, we have our plain lot. I have a wall up. And that's just going to be like a display wall to show you what these items look like. So let's go into build mode. Build mode. Do, do, do. Okay. So some pretty cool stuff. We got some new plants, but let me go through through the packs and click on jungle adventure make it a lot easier on us and on me <laughs> so we have like banana trees we have uh, brazil wood Oops. tree fern ooh that's big <laughs> um, what is that called an ivy palm and ficus, which is super big. Wow. Look at that. Alright, and then we do have some new bushes. So we have like a grass clump. This, <laughs> you'll also see in the items, it is an outdoor toilet. So basically, you can pee in a bush now. And I found that pretty hilarious. Um, so we have ground fern, Swiss cheese plant. <laughs> so yeah, just all of these different bushes and trees. We even have flowers. Only two, but still pretty cool. And no rocks though. So let me go through and get rid of all of these plants. Okay. 
Coming in here, though. Okay. So we have some fresh algae. We have um, giant water lilies and a fountain. Let me zoom that in. So this is actually pretty cool. Um, water lilies, I would have to put in a um, water. Same with this one. So let's click on pool. And let's, whoops, a little bigger than that. Some cool features for the pool. We do have an ancient pool trim. You can also change the color of the water to brackish water or to hot spring. And now let's click have the algae and the lilies. So some pretty good water features that I really like. Um, but no new paint stuff, which is fine. All right, let's get rid of all of this. All right, for the rest of the build mode, we do have a new column, a new ancient column. No um, new spandrels, no, none of that. We do have some new um, railings for the stairs. We have some new stair designs, rough stone steps. And Tidy tile steps. As you can see. So let's go ahead and put some railings on. See, and that you can change the color, obviously. I won't really do that, but it still looks pretty nice. Um, we also have some fences that match the railing, like this one here. Let's see how that looks. But then we also have short stone fencing. It's pretty low, but at the same time pretty nice and very fitting for what we have in this game pack. Um, we do have some new windows, which I really like, especially these. I love these, and you also have like a taller one that takes up the whole wall. And we got some wooden ones. We have this like a, a shutter that opens up in the back. There's something simple like this. We have one for the opposite side as well. There's something very open. And same with this. You know, smaller, but open. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like this one. Um, just no door. And we have like a temple window, which is really cool. So you see no different size windows here. Um, for, but for the doors, which is really cool, I find these doors really nice. So you have like a, a single door, you have a double door. And we have some arches. So you have a wooden arch and a tiled arch. But we do have a different, you know, size door. So we have, oh, requires a taller, oh, my bad. We'll just go to the very top because I can't remember if there's one bigger than that. Okay. So yeah, we have this giant temple door. And also this one that takes up a pretty good size chunk of the wall. Eh, but nothing taller. So 
Let's just go back down. We do have some tons, actually, of um, wall sculptures. So we have some stuff like this. We have broken ones. And we also have some plants here. Woo, that is super big. So I probably won't be putting that on the wall. But we do have some flowers. Which is really nice. Some corner flowers. Same with this one. I think the, oh, those are pretty big as well. And that one. <laughs> And you have some um, awnings. Couldn't think of the word there for a moment. You have some bigger ones, and then you have like a balcony. Thing to a window. But these, these wall decorations are actually super pretty, I think, because you can also change the color. So you can just have like a basic plain stone temple, you know, kind of thing, or you can have something that might brighten up your house a little bit. And each and every one is like that. They have all these different colors, like let's take this avocado for example. <laughs> you know, that's really nice. And then there's also, I think this is the llama glyph. So you can brighten it up like that. Um, this one though, the tree glyph, I thought this was really beautiful. Um, but yeah, all of them are kind of like that. You can just have your plain temple look or you can add some color to it for more of a homey feel. Um, let's see, so yeah, no new roof sculptures. You do have this. Um, tile of rooftop paneling, which, um, you know what, let's go ahead and just fill the room here, and we'll go up, and we'll go ahead and make a roof. Just because we can. Just to show you guys. So yeah, pretty nice. I do like that we get a new kind of style for a roof. Because um, we don't really get those a lot. Um, but, let's see, no new trim. Let me put the filter back on. No new trim. Um, you do get some exterior trim, though. So this ancient uh, ruins trim, and you have this rustic trim. Um, when it comes to flooring, which is nice, you have like a rusted wooden plank. We have some new masonry, so you get some stones, stone flooring, you get some hieroglyphs, which is really cool. Um, and some tiling here. No stone, which I kind of find a little weird, but that's about it. So just masonry and wood. When it comes to the siding, we got a lot of tiles, which I will show here. Oops, wrong button. A lot of these are really pretty, and you know, like a lot of things, you can change the color of them. Like that. Do basic. Then you have like different colors, like this. So, yeah, pretty nice. We also have some masonry here. Um, 
And then we got some stone, which which is why I'm a little disappointed that we don't have stone flooring. Um, because you can have stone walls, just not flooring. And that's about it for the wallpapers. Um, but no foundations, and then it's just, you know, your regular build for your deck mode. Um, but one thing that's really nice is that we do actually get some rooms. So I will come over here and show that to you guys. So you can have different colors. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this room. I gave her enough money to go ahead and do this. So yeah, we have you know, a nice archway into the kitchen, and we've got some decorations along the walls. See a dining table, and thus, you know, have your basic kitchen necessities. Uh, but this is actually pretty cool. Here, you don't really have that in any of the other game packs, or even the base game. So that was really cool. Um, we also have a bathroom, and I'll just pick that color. I don't really mind. So they have these windows that I love. Um, but <laughs> no toilet, because I think they want you to, have, to use the uh, bush. But I, I don't think I'm going to have her do that. But this also gives you an idea of some new items that we have. Um, so we have a bedroom. Pretty nice bedroom here. You know, some more wall art, some more plants. Has these windows that I really like with the shutters open. New dresser. So, um... We have a nice living room here. Oops that I'm going to call a living room, but what they've decided to do, you know, it's not your basic living room with a TV or anything like that, but we do have like a bar area. This is a really cool table. It's an archaeology work table, which I'm super excited about, but we'll also look into that more when we get into the items. Um, so yeah, nice size room, but this I absolutely love as well. You have your little outdoor seating area which I think is really nice um, oh I did forget to show you one thing uh, but we have like a little fountain right here let me go yeah fountains Not here and here so we have these two that I've already shown you with the pool um, but yeah, we have this fountain. Or did I already show that? I don't know. Maybe I already did show that. But I love the fountain, so I'm going to show it again. Um, but I believe that is actually it for the build mode. So some really cool features that I feel like you can really get into more detail with your house. And with the items that I'm about to show can definitely help with that even more. So we're just gonna go down um, this menu line here. And we're gonna start, oh, actually, I have an idea. Oops, right there. I'm gonna go into tile, I'm gonna put this up. So you have a little backdrop for the stuff that I wanna show you. So we got some, we got a stool, just your basic stool, but a nice little lounge chair as well. And we got some dining chairs. Um, no new computer chairs. Do have this really nice couch that I enjoy, but I also really love oops, this kind of a chair. And I feel like it's a nice patio chair. We don't have any outdoor 
stuff. I kind of feel like this should be part of the outdoor um, seating, but it's not. Um, let's get rid of that for a moment. And then we have like a another couch that goes along with this one. And then when it comes to beds, you got your single bed, your double bed, and for some reason, the toilet is in with the beds. I'm not really sure why. Uh, maybe in the gameplay, maybe there's more options than it just being a toilet, but I'm not, I'm not really sure. I haven't gotten that far in this game pack just yet. Um, and then we have a ball, a bar stool. And that's about it for our comfort. When it comes to surfaces, do you have this really nice coffee table that was seen in one of the um, rooms that are in build mode that you can choose from. We have this really nice long dining table and a basic circle dining table. And we have a bathroom cabinet, which I think is a really nice touch. And a lot of these items are really well designed. And we have a hallway table. And we have this other hallway table that I just find beautiful. I love these door designs. And then we have some two, we have two end tables here. And I feel like this end table really matches well with the coffee table that we saw. So yeah, some really nice stuff. We got some new shelving. Put this up really quick. Put this up here. Um, some other things that I found really, really nice. Oops. Is you have like these china cabinet things. And this is just gorgeous. You can put your wine bottles there and I I love these features. Um looking into the items pack, I find that I pretty much love everything. And I feel like I'm not spoiled enough. I want more. <laughs> I really do. Like with the stone flooring. I really want stone flooring. Um, so not a whole lot for cabinets or countertops. Just those, you know. But of course you can choose different colors. And then we have a picnic table. Which I find really interesting that they put detail into making it look older and you know I just find this more believable because if you do sit at a picnic table a lot of the time it is not a newer picnic table it's very rare to sit on a nice picnic table and then we have a ruin pedestal and I can see maybe the sim putting any artifacts that they may find in the jungle or um, if they're like digging through dirt or something like that, that they've brought home and then they find an artifact and put that artifact on there. I absolutely love this sink. And then like I said, this is your only toilet. And you only have a shower. You don't have a combination. Um, but then you also have this really nice deep bathtub. And that's about it for when it comes to the bathroom. For activities and skills, like I said, we have an archaeology workbench, which I love. I absolutely love that they have their own table that they can do that with. Um, we have a bar area. Oops. I want to show. There we go. Um... But I believe that's about it 
no, we do have these two things. We have a uh, craft sales tables, so something that you would see in like a merchant place, and a food stall. Um, I can see these being more for like if you want to build a public lot, you know, not a residential lot. Uh, but it's pretty cool that you have those two features. Though going through the items, those are really the only two things that I would say the public would use. Um, other than building a bathroom or an eating area, you know. Okay, and we have tons of decorations. So these ones you've already seen. I've already showed you up against, you know, on the wall. And then you have these that go into the water. But you do have some new potted plants. Um, these are actually pretty cool. So we don't have any new pictures, which is a little disappointing, but we can add detail to the walls by making them look cracked. Which I thought was really cool. So if you want your, even your house, or if you want to build a public temple or something like that, um, that you can really get into that kind of detail to make it look older. We only have one mirror. It's this really tall mirror. I can't really push it up higher on the wall. Um, let me see, maybe if I had the wall higher? No. You just, you just can't do it. Um, so that's pretty much where the mirror will stay, close to the fence. And then I've already shown that these are the only curtains, so it's just awnings, not really curtains. Um, so you have like a ruined table, temple, or yeah, table. You got some pots. You have some more ruins. We have a welcome to the jungle base camp sign. <laughs> you have some skeletons that can guard your doorway. Some more pots. This really cool statue. We have some ruined columns. Ones that are broken and then ones that are newer. And we have some totem poles that are huge. So we got one with a llama. We have one with a bird. One with a cat. And then one that's kind of flower-like. So if you really want to build a public temple in like Oasis Springs, you can definitely do that. There we go. So the only thing for this one is this nice little centerpiece here. We have some rugs. This is the only one that pretty much stays the same how it is. Um, but it does come in some more, like, natural colors. Some more, like, just brown, tan, white. Just, just some dark colors. So the white is the pretty much the brightest you can get with that. But these other two, the one thing I really, really love in The Sims 4 is that you really have to go through the rugs because though, you know, you see these have the same pattern, they just come different colors, you go to the next column and it's a completely different pattern. And I absolutely love that about this game. Because I know there were times in The Sims 3 where I'm just like, I like that size rug and it fits well, but I don't like the design. And this one's really cool. So some just, just really nice stuff. So you see we have some different colors here, but then we have something like this, and it's actually pretty big. <laughs> As you can see. Yeah, so just some really nice rugs to help decorate your room and make it look a little better. 
And we do actually have a fireplace, and I love this fireplace. I think it's such a beautiful design and just such a nice touch to any any space, your dining room, your living room, even a kitchen. It's just so nice. And then these, I think we've already, yeah. I think we might have already gone through these. Yeah, because I mentioned the llama and all that. Um, I think the only things we haven't gone through is these, you have some nice trim. We have this light up wall piece. But you also have this tapestry that comes in different colors and designs. And I thought this was a really nice touch to any room in the house. Um, another thing that I really like is this framed calendar. Actually, let me put this in the lighting. Or I can change the lighting. I'm gonna do that. So you can have it like a basic color like that, but then you can also make it gold if you want to. And, I, and it does have a lot of detail to it. Um, so they really put a lot of time and effort into this. Um, I think I've already shown you these, but this, you have a basic treasure chest, and then you also have a colored chest. And this is a really nice archway. So I can see, like, if you want to have some outdoor seating in your backyard or something, you'll probably use this, uh, not really an arch, but you know what I mean, just something covering where you may be seating at or something. So that's it for decorations. There's a lot of decorations. There is nothing for pets, so I'm not going to show you guys, and there's nothing for kids. But we do have lighting. So we have a lantern and a lamp that comes in different colors, as you can see, some different designs. Um, no standing lamps, no outdoor lamps. We have one wall lamp that I thought looked really nice. And I think it has a candle inside. No, no, it doesn't. It looked like a candle at first, but it doesn't. Um, but I do love these, which have candles. It's a candle chandelier. And though I don't have a ceiling, you know, but it won't stay, but, um... I think it does look really nice. And that is about it for the lighting. There are no electronics, I believe. Yeah. Um, we actually do get some appliances. So we have a fridge, new stove, no new small appliances, but we do get a barbecue drum grill. <laughs> And I thought this was a really cool idea. Um, and that's about it for appliances. And then when it comes to storage, no new bookshelves. You get one dresser. And then it's the treasure chests I've already showed you, but we do get a display case. This giant display case. And I'm kind of hoping that you can put stuff in there. Um, like I said, I haven't played with any of these items yet, so I'm not really sure. But that is actually it when it comes to items in build mode. Like I said, it's, um, it's very detailed. And I feel like they put a nice amount of time into this. Um, so, like, you can make a really nice... Maybe even like a cantina house or like um, just a nice public temple that anybody can go through. And I would say maybe even like make your own temple restaurant. I may do that. I might have a video where I do that. Just a build video. That would be really cool. 
Let's see if I can get that to work. Um, but yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff that can make it feel like it's a jungle theme. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with what they did here. Um, like I said, I wish there was just more. I feel like I'm not spoiled enough, even though there's so much stuff to go through. Um, but I like what we have, and I like what, there's, what there is to play around with, and I'm really excited to um, use these items in like a Let's Play or something like that. Or even just on my own time to get used to them. Um, but... I think this is going to conclude our build mode and item review. Um, it's getting pretty long, I didn't want it to go this long, but there was just so much to go through and I really wanted to make sure that you guys saw it. Um, especially if you don't have the game pack just yet and you're watching these reviews to get some ideas. So I just really wanted to show it to you more rather than just like put my cursor over and be like, yeah, this is what you get. Um, but um, I do want to make one more review and that'll be about the new world that we got in the game pack called Sal Salva Dorada. I always have a trouble I always have trouble saying it at first. Salva Dorada. Um, so yeah, we'll be showing that. And we'll have Asia, our sim here, roam around and check out the world. And I'm thinking about making a let's play with her so we can watch her explore new sites um, because I did take a little peek at the world and notice that you can't go everywhere just yet. Um, you have to have your sim explore the world for themselves to unlock certain spots and that sounds like tons of fun and I feel like it would make a really fun explorer let's play. Um, so um, and I already said you know, why this pack is so much fun to me. Um, I said in the last review that I'm just super into archaeology and anthropology cultures and religions and mythologies so it's just all so fascinating to me and this is by far going to be my favorite game pack for The Sims 4 just like how World Adventures was for The Sims 3. Um, but I'm gonna end it here so we can build our house and be on the lookout for the next review. Thank you so much for watching.